This is James Kendrick with ZDNet Mobile News and today I'm going to show you a quick look at Logman Ignition running on the iPad 2. The Logman Ignition is a remote control program that lets you take control of any Mac or Windows PC from the iPad which has some actually some good potential for business users etc tell you what let's go into a Windows system first whoops I'm off to the side here so let me move where I can get and use my right hand there we go quickly logs in gives you some hints and boom we are in Windows you see the cursor can move just like it's very fluid it's very fast it can do anything because we are controlling a Windows PC in my office could be any Windows device anywhere in the world it's got great potential uses for people who have to do remote computer support lots of uh, other reasons uses that you might have but let's go over here now we're web browsing in the Chrome browser on a Windows machine on log me in you see how well it's rendered how nice everything I mean it's just like being there it's just like sitting there in front of the computer now should we need to uh, enter in a URL or something which I'm going to do right now if I get away from this long hand screen I can fire up the keyboard and we can do something it's very very good as you can see it just oh look at the Google very cool but anything you can do and of course you can pinch and zoom if you need to get uh, a little tighter control you can pinch and zoom you can uh, like I said you can do anything you can do it's just like you're you're being there because you're actually running the remote Windows computer. So let's get out of this in session and then we're going to go into my MacBook which is a multi monitor system. I actually have two monitors connected here and we can switch toggle between them frankly. Works just you see the cursor, you see the dock we can fire up the finder and everything is just nice and want to see it better blow it up and of course you're still able to finally control the mouse but also pan around the desktop very fluid and you notice how the uh, the, the system panel at the bottom is going transparent so we can actually see the desktop underneath. Very well designed, very, very cool stuff is logged me in. Now, a new function in this version that, that was released simultaneously with the iPad 2 is the ability to copy, move, look at local files. Now see here we have I'm going to open that up. Now you see I've, I've copied a file on the iPad here and I'm going to try to copy it and paste it 
oh yeah I forgot multi monitors I forgot to show you that that's my second monitor it's got TweetDeck running on it over there look how fast this is it's pretty cool but anyway we should be able to I think open up let me see how but we should be able to paste files you can copy and and move files back and forth here we go oh this is what we need to do I believe ah yes I think this is it ah yes now this is James Kinnick's MacBook that's what I forgot to do that one step so we can go in here users and I'm just gonna drop here notice how it says drop here it's totally drag and drop graphical it's pretty cool let's drop it there copy the file and folder yes and it's done just that quick and then we can be instantly back in the remote control session this is probably the best remote control system I've seen using log me in here and the iPad too I mean it, it, it couldn't be more fluid more uh, easier to do let's see we can go into this folder here which should have some images from a review that I published earlier today and we can fire up this in preview and look how it's all right there bingo so just just a marvelous method for remote control access which actually opens up the iPad being the mobile device that it is and turning it into a full Mac or Windows computer by remotely controlling uh, our, another system and you see it's very well implemented and very well designed and a good solution so once again this is James Kendrick with ZDNet Mobile News with Logman Ignition for the iPad 2